we are going to look at how to create a chain barrier like this in Blender. Okay, so you can see that it is animated. So you can even make a ball hit it and then make it move. So we'll see how this is done in Blender. So we'll go to new file, delete the light. <clears throat> this is going to be our post. So we are going to make this. These sizes will be two. Will be 10. Okay, so move this post up, then we'll add a subdivision in the edit mode by clicking the tab key, add a loop cut, and add three of them. And then scale it so you get round edges. We'll duplicate this and move it here <clears throat> and then we'll go here and use cavity both go to matcap and then use this material then select both of these and go to object shade smooth okay so these are our posts we'll go to add mesh torus then we'll move the torus away and then go to edit mode, go to wireframe mode, select half of the torus, move it out to create a chain. Okay. Now this chain is going to be attached here. Okay. And then we will need one more chain, which will be attached here. All right. Then we will need one more chain here, and then we'll need one more, and I will rotate it 90 degrees. All right, now this one is going to be a rigid body, and it is going to be passive, and it is going to be a mesh. We'll do the same thing rigid body, passive, mesh. These two, I'll select one at a time, rigid body, active, mesh. Okay, and then we will create, what I'll do is I'll move this here, copy this. Then we have these two, should select the one which is rigid body object, rigid body, copy from active. Okay, and when you play it, you will see that our rigid body simulation is working okay so this passive goes here and then we copy this the front view shift D to duplicate and move it and this chain shift D put it in the middle here so we can keep copying until we reach the other end and this one maybe we can move it here to finish the chain okay and hit the play the chain is working all right that's about it thank you very much